Well, the stone house renovation has taken a massive change. We have a new roof plus a vaulted ceiling. Right now, they're just using the level to measure up the exact point where the, the beam will go into the gable of the main stone house. We have a new team today. We have the carpentry team, Rui, Otavio and Manuel. Later on, they'll be joined by Zay and Philippe. So let's see, first of all, how we got those timbers up on the roof. We have eight men on site today. Well, it's an absolutely lovely, cool August morning here. Uh, so nice when there's a little bit of mist. Today's plan is to move the first beam up onto the roof. There's been a lot of talking and a lot of measuring, a lot of leveling. I was here yesterday for about three or four hours, but I have a question for you. How long do you think it is actually going to take to put this roof on? <laughs> so um, if you have any ideas, pop them in the comments. Uh, it'll be fun to see who's right at the end. <laughs> Give it a go. Rui's driving the Manito. The plan is to lift one of these and come up over the back side of the house. But we don't know if that's going to work yet, so we're just going to have to see. Looks like the idea here is to carry it in line with Manito. See what I mean? Going parallel in line. And the idea is to get it up here. So we've actually gone, now we're perpendicular. Well, it looks like now it's going to be manhandled over the top. We put wood here so that when they, if they're sliding it up or itch, inching it up, they're not going to damage the beam. Presto tem motosserra. Motosserra, sim. Sim. Depois eu dizia. Já, já, já tinha visto. Eu agora vou fazer o molde. Vou fazer primeiro para aquele lado, que é para ver uh, ali o... Good. Então, mas já estava... Já teve... <fixos> Manuel 
it's the painter. Oh, and he hit the cat. Let's get started. 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 And it's very noisy here. Yeah. Today they prepared all of the rafters, common rafters I'm told, from a friend called Rob, builder. Prepared them by cutting them and using a template because that particular section of the house is more or less square.
floor or not? Oh, it looks awful. Awful? Awful. Oh, Terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. See you. <laughs> Do you want? Há muito aberto agora? Não, não é que eu tenho aqui, mas Ai. eu vi que já estou do. Está com o meu. Ai, não, está aqui. Mas você isso serve de culpa? Não? <risos> é? É grande. Eu vou procurar o procurador. Ele quer lá embaixo uma vez. O patrão! Ai, o bobo que eu tremava. Nunca se anda. Olha, pega nessa fita. Não quero dar aqui esse cinzinho para o Betsy. É sério? Eu não vi onde? Quando? Ontem? Sim. Ainda não vi de onde? Você é o boss. Ah. Você é o boss. Você é o boss. Você é o boss. O cara com o boss. O cara com o boss. Mas isto vai fazer sucesso. Eu sou o boss. Ah, sim, sim. Você é. Isso é verdade. Tinha aqui as casas para outra. Tem certeza. Estou pensando. Seria de dois horas? Sim. Samuel? É. There's a little tiny gap here. So we've got to use the planer. Pá, viras, é? Olha, viras. Sim. Assim. Agora. Tá bom. I, I'm covering with sunshine. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Keep me in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, it's really hot. Yeah, it's hotter for you. Yeah, but this part is done. Well, I'll come over after my office work today to have a look, see how they're getting on with the roof. It's a lovely evening and a fantastic view from up here. And I believe they're going to get all the rafters on this veranda roof on tomorrow and a look at that tomorrow morning
Well, we have a huge team here this morning. A lovely, dull, grey morning, and it's nice and cool. Zay is the carpenter. Who, he's actually been here before. And uh, yeah, he remembers coming here as a child, skiving off school.
60 ou 62. Acho o quê? 59 e meio. Uh, super exciting. So these are the metal laths which go onto the roof and the tiles hook into that side. These are the tiles that are going to be used and they're Umbelina Monteiro, what is it? and they're from a company called Lusa. So they're made from clay. If we put them up here, they're not too bright, so they should fade in and blend in to the, the rest of the area easier than some of the tiles that I have seen that are very, very bright orange, but I'm really pleased with the look. Each tile company has um, an installation guideline uh, so that your house has your roof has to have a particular pitch and be within a range of pitches in order for the tiles to work correctly and even within that there are guidelines about the position of your house if it's exposed not too exposed or sheltered and yeah, all of those things have to be taken into consideration when the pitch was set for the house. These just interlock and with that metal system and sit on top of the tiles, like you've probably seen many tiles being removed from houses in Portugal and replaced. So it's just simply lift on, lift off. We went to view a house. Do you remember that time, Dan? We went to view a house and there was a room Oh, we couldn't actually get into part of the house and the estate agent just went up on the roof, lifted the tiles, dropped himself into the house and opened the door. I was like, oh, not very secure. Oh, it's 
So here they're building up the blocks, like, sort of like this at the end. Bairada, Bairada. I went home early for lunch because I knew the tiles were going to be delivered. And they've been delivered on a lorry and a kind of a crane, I guess, and put straight onto the roof. I went and had a glass of water. And they said they were going up and get the camera set up. And lo and behold, they've already started. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just can't wait now for the stonemasons to come and finish out the bit of stone that needs to be faced on the outside of the new piece of wall. If you're expecting a time lapse, that ain't going to happen because it is just going to be so hot that the cameras can't work. I'm just going to do what I can. I really can't believe how lovely it is. Look at that. This is just beautiful. Let's see this guest bedroom. Oh, it's so cool. It's going to be really hot again today. And you know, as Seriously though, as time goes on, this guest bedroom <laughs> is becoming less likely as a guest bedroom. It's just so lovely. Well, I could see that the roof had been tiled when I was driving down the road. It's the first time I've been able to see the roof from up there and I was excited to see how much they've done. I'm gonna go up and have a look up here and uh, have a closer look at what they've done. Dan has been phenomenal this week. He's had a couple of days off work and he's been helping get some fabulous shots from the ridge. The guys are just amazing. They're so accommodating and helping me do the filming. So you get to see behind the scenes and we get to keep a memory of it forever. Well, they're putting on the ridge tiles today, but I've got to go because these videos don't make themselves. And I'll come back later this evening and have a look and show you the, how it's finished. There is still much to be done before we can move in and call this our home. And if you'd like to join in and see the progress in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. And we love to see you in the comments section. See you in the next video.